So let's say that you're in charge of hosting a meeting, but for some reason you're unable to make it and you want someone else to take in charge as a host. So how do we do that? For that, you need to share something called a host key with the other person who you want to be the host so that they can take in charge of the meeting for you. But before that, we need to make sure that some settings are turned on. So before I share my ID, I'm going to go on to the new meeting section over here. I'm already logged in onto my Zoom client by using my ID as you can see right here. So now in the new meeting section where there's this option right over here, I'm just going to click over here and check use my personal meeting ID because it's much more easily manageable. And then I'm going to go to this section that is my personal ID and over here, I'm going to go to PMI settings that is personal meeting ID settings. So over here, I'll set my password. The meeting ID remains unchanged and I can set my host video on and then participants video on as you can see. So you, you can do this any way you like. So I'm going to disable the enable waiting room feature so everyone can join in and I'm going to also enable join before host so that they can join in even if I don't. I can also turn this on on mute participants upon entry. I'm just going to keep this checked in right over here, just like that. And it is up to you whether you want the recording feature to be on or off by default. So just make sure that enable join before host is turned on. So once that is done, I'm going to save it out and I'll be sharing this with all of the participants. Then I'm going to go on to my ID right over here. So this is uh, my profile which I logged in from zoom.us and then in the profile section if you scroll down you'll be able to see this the host key as you can see right here. Once you click so you get a host key as you can see right over here. So what you can do is you can share this host key. You can also edit and reset it out if you don't want to share it anymore. So you see this host key, you copy this out and give it to the person who you want to become the host. So once you share it out, they can log in and enter this ID and become the host in case of your absence. So I'm going to do exactly that over here. So I'm just going to sign out over here from my account. So just sign out and now I'm going to uh, be the host by using this host key right over here. So I'm not signing with my account as you can see right over here. So the other person, the guest, they can join a meeting over here. They can enter the uh, meeting ID and password as you gave them. So I'm just going to uh, enter this out. So this is my personal meeting ID and I'm going to just join this out. So I'm just going to join, join in. So I'm joining as a guest, not with my main ID and they'll have to enter the password. Okay, and then join the meeting. So as they join the meeting, they will join before the host, as you can see right over here. So they are have been joined, they are joined in and they are not joining as a host yet. So you don't see any host options as you can see right here. They just see the guest options right over here. So now in case of the absence of the host, what they can do is they can become the host by going on to the participant section right over here and they'll see this option called claim host as you can see right here. So they'll have to click on claim host right over here and then enter the digits to claim host. So you can see right here, they can sign in as well, but usually if they want to claim host, then they won't have your ID, but they will have the host key right here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this right over here. Just paste it and then they can claim host or they can type it in as well, of course, and they can claim host right over here. So now it says verifying host key. Now the host options, as you can see, as the host key is verified, now they have all the host options like breakout rooms, like uh, the react, the chat options, participant management and everything as you can see right over there. So this is how they can claim to be a host in case of your absence and run the meeting. And once they get out of the meeting again, so let's let me just end the meeting for all. And if they join again, they won't be the host anymore. They will have to enter the host key again to claim the meeting right over here. So you can, they can go over here, they can join in just like this and then enter the password, join the meeting, they'll again become the guest as you'll see in a while. So it's connecting as you can see. And now just join with computer audio. You can see that again, they have become 
a normal participant so they have to go to the participant section claim host again as they rejoin the meeting and now they can be the host of the meeting right over there. So that is how you can use the host key inside of the Zoom meeting client. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.